What is up guys? Welcome back for another live today in the OU Suspect ladder. Uh, today, uh, Genesect is being suspect tested, and we are going to play a few games to see uh, how well we can do. We are using a team made by my good friend Jose. I should probably push in a little bit closer because of my lighting. Sorry about shaking the cam there. I just hit my knee. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be using uh, a team that my buddy Jose made. A really cool team. Uh, it's um, Tapu Lele, Banded Feramosa, which is really awesome. Uh, Mega Metagross, Toxapex, uh, Mandibuzz, and uh, Mamoswine actually puts in a lot of work in the tier right now. It's it's better than Weavile, surprisingly enough. Ground Stab is really, really good right now. So let's uh, let's get a few games. Let's see how well we can do. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm using Face Cam today because, uh, like I said in my previous video, Camtasia all of a sudden started working with my Logitech. So uh, I bought a tripod for nothing. It's right behind my camera right there. Uh, but we got a matchup. Let's uh, let's check it out. Uh, Mamoswine actually puts in a lot of work uh, with that Tapu Koko around, uh, as long as it doesn't have a uh, Grass Knot. And he has two quad weeks to ice, so that's really, really nice. Uh, what I want to do here is I actually want to lead off with uh, Feramosa because it gets off a U-turn for essentially free, turn one. Uh, he leads off with Metagross. Interesting choice. I'm going to U-turn out immediately. Uh, and if he wants to go into Garchomp, he reveals his set. Uh, he's actually going to stay in and uh, allow me to U-turn on him. As you can see, Banded U-turn does almost 50% to this thing. Uh, and we're going to go out into Mandibuzz right here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Zen Headbutt. That is not going to affect us. And I doubt he's going to want to take a foul play. He might want to keep this thing around. So I'm actually going to go for a U-turn. And uh, I really wish... Is there a way that I can get this closer to you guys without actually taking myself out of the shot? Is that is that okay? I think I'm a little bit closer. This should be fine. My bed's not made, is it? No. no all right. <laughs> so, uh, we do get a U-turn off on the lander, so we see that it's a Rocky Helmet variant, which means Mamoswine comes in for free here, immediately threatens this thing out, and we can just e very easily go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Uh, he's risking his lander risk by staying in, but he chooses to Toxic us. All right, that's fine. And uh, I'm just going to go for the Icicle Crash at this point. It hits everything on his team. Greninja's not going to appreciate a Life Orb Icicle Crash, I can tell you that much. It'll probably die to that, plus Ice Shard. Uh, Metagross is actually going to be the one to come in. This is going to take it just fine. It's going to take 25%, uh, but I'm not staying in here. I'm definitely going out into probably Mandibuzz at this point. Uh, I'm actually going to go out into Toxpex because we're Rocky Helmet, and I don't expect him to go for the Zen Head, but he's actually going to go for Meteor Mash and take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage, and then we can switch into Mandibuzz on the Zen Head, but, uh, and be immune to it, of course, uh, just as we were before, and uh, now I'm just going to go for the U-turn again. He's going to miss his Mash, very unfortunate for my opponent, but we are going to get right out of there. And uh, I think Feramosa is the play once again, because it's uh, pretty much faster than anything on his team. Excuse me, barring uh, Scarf Kartana uh, or Greninja's priority. This thing could also be Scarfed. I don't really want to chance it. I think Toxapex is a fine switch always to this. And then he's going to go for Water Shuriken anyway, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's not Protean. He's definitely Battle Bond, because we didn't see his typing change. Uh, and he's also Life Orb, so that's great information right there. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to throw out a Scald. It hits everything on his team. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. It's going to do 39%. And uh, we are going to get off this Scald. That's beautiful. And uh, now we're going to attempt to go for a recover. But my opponent decides to forfeit. So that's going to be it for Petuso. Uh, we are at 1194. That is not on top 500 of the, of the ladder. Apparently people have been attacking this suspect test ladder uh, while I wasn't around. Motham. Hmm. Interesting. Do we have a, uh, do we have a Dan fan in the house? An A-Drive fan? perhaps. Uh, Machamp's been seeing a lot of play, and I can't figure out why, <laughs> because I just I just don't get it. I really don't get it. But um, again, I think Feramosa is a perfect lead here. He's going to lead off with Motham. That's fine. Uh, we are just going to get off the U-turn right here. Uh, Scarf Motham doesn't outspeed Feramosa, so we do... <laughs> That's a resist, guys. 56%. Very nice. Uh, we're going to... What does this thing get in terms of hazards? I don't think it gets anything, right? I think he's just going to go for a flying move anyway, so I might as well go into Metagross. Let's see what he does. Uh, he goes for the Quiver Dance. Okay, that's, I mean, that's fine. Uh, I do have a Toxapex right here, uh, which I'm going to go out into because I don't want to take a Bug Buzz. As he is going to go for a Z move, uh, Savage Spin Out, and he gets a crit. Wow. Why did that do so much? That was ridiculous. How did that kill me? What? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, Mamoswine, uh, can you, can you save me right here, please? Let's just go for the Ice Shard, uh, knock this thing out, because I'm very scared of what just happened. Uh, that was a resisted hit, guys, and that was a Toxapex. So, yeah. Uh, and now I have nothing for Greninja, fantastic. Let's go into Mandibuzz. He's gonna go for the Hydro Pump and miss. Oh, that sucks. 
Um, he didn't change typing, so we know he's Battle Bond. Let's go for the U-turn. He's gonna go for his own U-turn, actually. He's not Life Orb either, uh, and he's not Choiced. Interesting. He's gonna go out into Tapu Koko, so we are going to get a switch out into, what, Faramosa? Mm, could go for the Poison Jab. He doesn't have a, an immunity anymore. That's nice. Uh, yeah, let's go to Faramosa. And we'll go for, straight for the jab, I think, and try to knock this thing out. And we do. Beautiful. So there goes that. Uh, we do get the plus one speed. Uh, and my opponent, I think, forfeits. Uh, he left. Uh, that might just mean he disconnected. We'll find out in a second, but I'm going to try to get another one in the meantime. If we have to play two games at once, it's fine. I'll deal with it. But I always have something in my hand, by the way, guys. You don't know this about me, but now you know. I always have something in my hand. Right now, it's, a, it's my camera battery from the camera I was talking about on the tripod before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rose hit. All right. Superior is a big threat to this team. Uh, I do have the Scarf Feramosa to, to handle it somewhat, but it's still a threat. Uh, I think I want to lead off with Mamoswine in this matchup, uh, because I see the Charizard, I see the Landorus, uh, both potential leads. I don't know what kind of Charizard he is either, I'm assuming Y, just because I see Titar, but this isn't Gen 6, so you can't really assume that. That's the problem. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to check how, like, I, I it's a really bad little window over here. You guys can't see it, but... Okay, if I if I just scroll over it, I can see what's going on. Okay, yeah, I think I'm close enough to the cam, right? You guys will tell me in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure I'm close. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, he's going to lead off with Drill. Uh, I don't know if this is Scarf Drill. I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to hard switch into Mandibuzz. I can always U-turn out after. Let's see what he goes for. He does just go for the Iron Head. That's fine. Uh, and now we get to see if he is choiced or not. We're gonna go for a U-turn. That is more than likely choiced as he's gonna go out into T-Tar. This is wonderful. I can bring in my Mamoswine now. Uh, we also know he's a uh, Sandrush, uh, Excadrill, so he could be choice banded. We didn't see a Life Orb, so there's that. Uh, T-Tar is in here. I think I just want to go for Stealth Rocks. He's probably gonna go into Tapu Fini and just defog him away anyway, but he's actually gonna go out into Charizard. Interesting. Um, now the question is, are you dual weather? Or is this X? Because if it's Y, it's going to do a lot to Toxapex regardless of the uh, of the typing. Fire Blast does almost half, which is very surprising, but it does. Um, so I'm just going to go out into Toxapex, hoping that this is X. Uh, as it turns out to be Y. Yep, there it is. And he's going to go for the Solar Beam anyway. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that only does 37%, so we can actually just recover right here. Uh, nothing that he can do can actually knock me out unless he, like, mega crits the Solar Beam. But that's not going to happen, as you can see. And I'm assuming he's going to switch out here, so I'm actually going to go for the Toxic Spike. As he does choose to go out into Tapu Fini. Now, of course, this thing can just defog everything away. However, if he does that, uh, he allows in a threat. And which threat do I choose? Uh, Metagross is pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's go into Metagross. Because uh, if he goes for the Defog, that's fine. Uh, we don't get the uh, the Evasion drop. I guess that's a, that's a thing. Uh, I'm going to go for the Meteor Mash first because I don't want to reveal Thunder Punch just yet. Uh, plus, Meteor Mash hits a lot more of his team than Thunder Punch does. And that's going to do a good amount. And we're gonna, actually going to get the Attack Raise right there. He's going to go for the Nature's Madness. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but I am just going to go for another Mash because I do see the Landorus right there. As he chooses to go out into Excadrill. Ooh, that's going to take a big hit, man. Uh, and if that did 71, and that's base 90, this might kill. I'm going to chance it, and I'm going to go for the bullet punch. It does kill. Awesome. Okay. So down goes his Excadrill. That is a huge, huge member down. Uh, I'm assuming Lando is going to come in here because nothing else wants to take this on right now. Unless he's Scarf Titar. That's the only other thing that I can see. Uh, a great pivot for him is now gone. He does go into Landorus. Not sure if I want to test if this is Scarfed or not, because Metagross still has a lot of viability, and it's the only real thing that takes out Tapu Fini immediately. However, it is weakened, so Tapu Lele can probably pull it off at this point. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just go for Mash. Let's see. Okay, so he's not Scarfed. Uh, we do miss, unfortunately, and he's going to get off the Earthquake, but that's okay. Uh, we are just going to go out into Mamoswine now that we know he's not Choiced. Uh, we are going to threaten him out, and I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. I have no reason not to at this point. He's going to bring in his Tapu Fini. That's fine. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, that's going to do a lot. It's going to do a huge amount, 54%, as you can see. He's going to go for the Defog, but I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks again. I don't care if he knocks me out with anything. He's going to go for Defog again. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to keep going for Rocks. I know exactly how much my Earthquake does, and I can just go for it at, on any given turn. So let's just keep going for Rocks. He has fewer Defogs than I have Rocks, so... I just need to get him to a point where his uh, Tapu Fini is, uh, like, 
has enough health uh, to take my Earthquake, which is 54%. Uh, this is a little bit close. I'm just going to go for another Stealth Rock. He's going to keep going for Defog. I'm going to go for Earthquake this time. As uh, Actually, hold on. Is he going to attack me this turn? Uh, he is going to Nature's Madness this time. However, how many def Defogs does he have? 15? Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just EQ. Let's just get rid of this thing. Because I can bring back in Mamoswine on Lando later. That's not too bad. He's going to bring in the Zard. That's actually quite surprising that he brought in the Zard over the Superior. Because Superior would have just destroyed me right now. Uh, I am just going to go out into Toxapex. No reason not to. If he wants to double into Lando, I still have my Mandibuzz. So it's not too bad. He's going to just go for the Solar Beam. That's fine. Uh, we are just going to go for the... Uh, the Tapu Fini is gone. I'm going to go for the Recover. He's going to bring in his Superior. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I am going to go for the... Actually, I have no reason not to just go for uh, Toxic Spike, right? Because it hits the Titar and it hits the Superior if he wants to switch it out on my uh, on my Feromosa. So I am just going to go for the Toxic Spike. He's going to go for Sub. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Sub Seed, isn't it? Okay. All right. So we have only one way to deal with this. Uh, and that is to go into Mamoswine directly on his Leech Seed. Okay, he's Leaf Storm. All right. Um, did not see that one coming. Not going to lie. Going to go into Feromosa here. I'm just going to U-turn out. I want to see what he does. Actually, uh, I probably should have lunged, but it's okay. I'm going to go into uh, Mana Buzz right here. Let's see what his play is. He's going to go for Hidden Power Fire? Probably. Uh, I'm going to go for a Roost because he's sub three attacks, I guess. That's the only thing that really makes sense. Um... Because doesn't subseed. Okay, he's going to increase his special attack again. 36. He shouldn't be able to knock me out even with a hidden power. So I'm just going to go for a U-turn here. As he's going to go for another Leaf Storm. We're still alive. And uh, now we are about to come in with Feromosa, which immediately knocks this thing out. So he has to be very careful. He, he probably has to switch out, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to go for another U-turn. His um, Charizard is not going to take this all too well. It's still going to take 21% from that. And... I'm just going to go right back out into Toxapex, because now his Superior gets poisoned. So I'm going to go for another Toxic Spike. Uh, T-Tar is going to be the one to come in, so it's going to get regular poisoned. That's fine. And uh, I want to find out what kind of T-Tar this is, so let's go for Recover. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, so now my Mandibuzz is dead, right? Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to keep going for Recover as he chooses to go out into his Superior, but his Superior is not going to be here for very long. Let's go for the Haze. Uh, if he goes for Sub, that's fine. He's going to go for Leaf Storm. Uh, so he's going to get the plus two, but we're going to get rid of his stat changes. Uh, he's going to take sand damage and uh, poison damage. And then we are going to go for the recover right here. Uh, there we go. He's going to go up to plus two. But then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to sack off my Mandibuzz. And I'm going to bring in my Feromosa again. So we're back to square one here. Uh, so he's going to go for the Leaf Storm, actually, on that turn. And now we're going to go on into Feromosa, and I think I'm going to click Poison Jab, because if his switching is Charizard, then it's not going to enjoy this at all. And uh, I, I don't understand why he hasn't switched into Lando yet. We are going to get the plus one speed. Uh, I don't know why Lando hasn't come in, honestly. That's, that's really weird to me. Um, because now, if I weaken his Lando at any given moment, then he loses to Tapu Lele. Well, actually, he loses to Feromosa, but Tapu Lele is the thing that I need to weaken the Lando. And now that I know it's defensive as well, because we did outspeed it earlier with Metagross, uh, that means that I can bring in my Tapu Lele as a switch in and pressure him out. And just go for the Moonblast, honestly, because he's probably going to bring in Titar anyway, so there's that. And then we get rid of the Sand, and we should be good to go from that point on. Seriously, I don't know why he's not going Lando. Let me start the timer on this guy, because he's taking quite a while. Uh, this guy left, so we were right about that, um, and we ended up at 12.14, okay. How much are we at here? 14 minutes? Not too bad. Really taking a while to make his play. So much so that once again, I think I'm going to get another battle, guys. Here we go. Just grab that. And, uh, yeah, I hope I'm not too close to my mic. Normally, I keep it at about this distance. I'm a little bit closer today, but, yeah. There we go. Should be good. <sighs> this chair has really been helping my posture, man. I love my DX Racer. Ah, oh, it's so nice. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got a... I thought it was a mono fighting type team. I saw Beware and I saw Machamp. 
Uh, Alright, so he's finally going to go out into his land, though. Finally. Um, now, the thing is, I still need... Do I still need Feromosa? Because doesn't Toxapex handle his Charizard? If I bring in Lele and I click... Okay, it's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be hard. I hate that I don't have Ice Beam on this set, even though it's Choice Banded, which makes sense. Mm. Let's go Lele. I know we're going to take a hit. Uh, what's he going to go for? He's going to go for the Rock Polish. Okay, beautiful. All right, so he is an offensive set, but... Um, let me see here. What do I want to lead against this guy? Uh, I'm going to lead off with Mamoswine against this guy. Let's just pick our lead for now. We'll come back to that in a second. I feel like he's not going to go for... Do I really want to chance that, though? I'm going to go for Psychic. Okay, Supersonic Sky Strike. Does that kill? It does kill. Ah, that sucks. All right, we'll go to Toxpex. He might be able to kill me with an Earthquake. I doubt it, though, because we're fully defensive. Let's try to burn him. He's going to go for EQ. There it is. Please burn. And we do get the burn. Okay. So what this means is that after the next round of burn... Uh, actually, I could even switch directly into Feromosa, knowing that he's probably not going to go for a uh, Flying-type move. He's probably going to go for an Earthquake, and we'll be able to take it. Um, or I can just go for High Jump Kick with Feromosa after. It's up to me, really. Uh, I am going to switch into Feromosa, because his Flying-type move is Fly. So if he goes for Fly, he takes an extra round of Burn, and then I can switch back into Toxapex. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to switch into Feromosa directly. It's, it's a little bit risky, because uh, if he would have crit me there, it would have been very, very bad. But now what I can do is I can actually switch back into Toxapex, give him one more round of burn, uh, and then go for... Actually, I could probably just go for High Jump Kick now. Uh, or you. t Why am I hard switching? U-turn. Oh, right, yeah, he's faster than me. <laughs> well, there goes that idea. Uh, and we are going to switch out Toxapex right here for Feromosa. Let the Landorus die to its burn. Um, if I wouldn't have U-turned there, if I would have High Jump Kicked, he would have been dead and I would have killed the rest of his team because Charizard is super frail. But I messed up. He's going to lead off with Machamp, this guy. Uh, and I'm going to go directly into Toxapex. No reason not to. He's probably just going to go for Dynamic. Yep, there it is. And he's going to take some Rocky Helmet in the process. Confusion is nerfed this gen as well, so I'm not too worried. I'm just going to go for a Toxic Spike. And now we got to go. We gotta sack off Feromosa. So we got to let this Landorus die to its burn. Uh, and then we have to hope that Toxapex can wall the remainder of his team. So I'm just going to go for a Recover right here, probably on a Solar Beam. I'm going to run out of recovers real fast. That did 42 this time, so I guess it's a roll. All right, let's go for another recover. He's going to go for Fire Blast this time. It's going to do way less. Okay, that's good. Uh, I still need to go for recover here because if he goes for... Okay, he misses Fire Blast. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go for Scald. I can still 1v1 him with Toxapex. That's the best part. <laughs> I love this. Um, that's not going to do anything, but as soon as his sun is gone, it's going to start doing a, a good amount of damage. Let's go for another recover. There goes another Fire Blast. Uh, he is going to get the burn this time. That's what I was worried about because this is going to wear me down a lot faster. Uh, let's go for a Scald here as he goes for a Roost. My Scald's going to be doing a lot more now. Uh, it's going to be doing 34. I'm going to go for another one as he switches in his T-Tar. So his T-Tar is going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll get back to the other battle in a second, but I need to go for Recovers here as he goes for Stone Edge. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this war. He's going to switch back into his Charizard. I'm going to run out of Recovers, aren't I? Uh, I need to go for a Scald here. I need to weaken this thing. He's got Roost, though, so it doesn't even matter. <coughs> Excuse me. That did a little bit. Not enough, though. Let's go for a cover. He does go for another Solar Beam. Doesn't get the crit. Um, I would be able to 1v1 him if I wasn't burnt. <laughs> because eventually his T-Tar will die once he decides to switch it in. Uh, I'm down to two recovers, actually. So I need to go for a Scald right here as he goes for a Recover or a Roost. We're going to go for another Scald. There's the Roost again. Eventually, he's going to switch out into T-Tar. Just got to find out when. I have more Scalds than he has Roosts. So, eventually, he'll lose this war. Uh, I need to go for a... I, I just need to keep going for Scald because his Fire Blast is out of the sun now and his Solar Beam takes two turns to fire off. So, as long as I keep going for Scald, I'm fine. He keeps going for uh, Roost. That's fine. Back into the same battle that we were in before with his Tapu Fini. Uh, all right, so did I lose? No, he forfeited. Okay, free win. Cool. Um, just keep going for skull, honestly. Excuse me. <coughs> Got a cough every time. All right, 
We're gonna go for a cover. I love that Burn is nerfed. Thank God Burn is nerfed. Uh, let's go for a Scald. He's finally gonna switch out into his T-Tar. It's going to die, though. Uh, the problem is now he can go for Solar Beam. So, I guess he was just trying to make me waste up my last recover, which makes sense. There's the Solar Beam. Uh, it's gonna do 42, so yeah, we're not gonna win this war, unfortunately. We're out of uh, recovers, and uh, this Solar Beam is going to be able to finish me off with the next one, so... Um, that's that was a little bit poorly played had I gone for the high jump kick I would have been in a much better pos position to win because as you saw from the u-turn damage high jump kick would have demolished Lando uh, And then we would have just swept because his Charizard was in range of a pl uh, not a plus one But a banded uh, high jump kick so it's a little bit unfortunate how much we got 20 yeah Let's get one more uh, we did four we went three and one so far so let's try to make it four and one me getting greedy again um, Oof. Yo, this looks like a this looks like a, a perfect counter team to me. What is this? Wow. Um, how do I even approach this? I lead Toxapex against this Feromosa, right? He leads Salazzle. Okay, I'm not too concerned with this. Uh, I'm just going to fire off a Scald here. He's going to go for Toxic because he can. Uh, but he's going to take a huge hit from that. Awesome. And we are just going to... I think I'm just going to go for another Scald. I have a Generator anyway. I'm not too concerned. He goes for Overheat too. So his Salazzle is gone. It was Life Orb. All right. There goes that thing. And uh, what's coming in? Kiram? Back to six. Kiram. Um, Skarmory. Okay. Going hard into Mandibuzz because if he sets up Hazards, I want to be able to get rid of them immediately. Uh, I'm not even thinking about it. Uh, if his Kiram comes in, then I'll deal with it. His Metagross chooses to come in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Foul Play. Regardless. And that's going to do a lot. He's going to go for the mash. Uh, he's going to get a crit and an attack raise. <sniffs> Gotta love that. Crit back. Right right back at you, bro. <laughs> Beautiful. Because uh, foul play wouldn't have killed. Uh, I would have done a lot, but it would not have killed. So I'm really glad uh, that ju that just happened. He's probably going to go for a fusion bolt. I'm really tempted to just go mammoth swine. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ma mammoth swine. He's going to go for the fusion bolt. Beautiful. And, uh, this thing can't knock me out with anything, I don't believe, uh, unless I'm missing something. I'm just gonna go for rocks. We're faster. Okay, this can definitely knock me out. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Metagross. And we are going straight for the Thunder Punch, predicting the Skarmory. Not even thinking about it. Yep. Please don't be fully defensive. Please be Spideff. Okay, you're not Spideff. Uh, at all. <laughs> We're going for a Meteor Mash here. Uh, we're gonna miss. Alright. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Not sure why. I'm gonna go for another Mash, just because I need to raise my attack. Uh, as we do not get it. He's gonna go for a Spike. I don't understand why he's doing this, because if I get the... I keep missing. If I get the attack raise, he's got Whirlwind, right? He has to have Whirlwind. But if he Whirlwinds me out into anything, this Skarmory is dead. Except for Toxapex. That's the only thing that won't kill it. Everything else has a way to. Uh, he's just gonna go for another spike, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get off damage now because I'm not getting this attack raise that seems to happen all the time in this gen. He's gonna go for another layer of spikes, that's fine. We're just gonna go for another T-Punch now. Uh, because if he wants to whirlwind me out, he's gonna leave his Skarmory super low. He's just gonna uh, roost. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another mash now. Because uh, it comes out to the same thing. As he's gonna go for another roost, we're just gonna go for another Thunder Punch. I need to get in um, Mandibuzz. Uh, actually... Okay, no, he doesn't He doesn't even have uh, Whirlwind. We're just going to win with Metagross. All I need is the race. I just need the attack race. Come on, give it to me. Let's go. Come on, odds. How many do we have? Ten? And we keep missing. We've missed three Meteor Mashes so far. Uh, let's just go for another one. Like, as soon as I get that attack race, this game ends. Right there. At that very moment. Come on. Give it to me. Show me the attack race. Nope. Why can I not get this attack race? What is going on? Nope. Still nothing. Let's go for T-Punch now. Because uh, he is leftovers, but if we get a very high roll on both T-Punches, we should be good. Okay, we paralyze him. That's nice. There's the roost. Let's go for another mash. Just trying to get this attack raise. Like, I still have an alternate win condition. Which is getting up Psychic Terrain with Fer uh, with uh, Tapu Lele and then just spamming High Jump Kick with Feromosa. Uh, like, that's really the only other play. I'm just going to go for a T-Punch here. Bring this down thing down to 35. 
Uh, I need to T-Punch again. Hope he, get, hope he gets full parried. Uh, and then we'll we'll work from there. He's not going to get full parried, but he is going to go for Brave Bird, uh, which might even put him in range of another T-Punch. If he gets full parried at any given moment while I'm T-Punching him, then he's gone. So, there's no full para. Let's keep going for T-Punch. How many roosts does he have left? Eight? Okay. Let's just keep going for it. There's the full para I was looking for. All right, let's click it again. And we do have Bullet Punch for the Feramosa. We're faster than the Dragonite. He doesn't know yet if I have Ice Punch or not. Uh, unless he's a Banded D-Knight, he won't take me out with E-Speed either. Not from this range. As uh, Feramosa is going to come in, I'm going to Bullet Punch this thing right away. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're down to 9%. There's the U-Turn. Are you Life Orb? Yes, you are. Beautiful. Uh, and now we are going to directly go out into Tapu Lele because our rocks are up. And, uh, yeah, you're not going to appreciate a Moon Blast. Not from Specs. You should go down immediately. And we know we're faster as well. Because he's not max speed. There we go. Kiram is down. And Dragonite should drop as well. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so that's going to be a win. We're at 12.35. Where does that put us on the ladder? I'm going to be doing a few of these, uh, episodes. 12.35. Where is that? That's pretty low, actually. 12.35. Did I... Did I update this? Hold on a second. Suspect. 12.35. Am I not at? Okay, there I am. <laughs> I missed my name before. Uh, but I'm at 4.47, which is right near the bottom of the ladder. Uh, we're not too far, so... Uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple of other games if I have time. If not, that was it for this episode, guys. Be sure to check out the next episode by subscribing down below. Uh, also, hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Leave a comment for me. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Ciao.